money, man. here at the new Matt Clark. How are each and every one of you doing on this amazing Thursday? I'm doing great. My girl's doing great. My family's doing great. I hope each and every one of you are doing great. Even though, like, what's there to really be happy about? Like, this lockdown stuff is crazy. It's all crazy. It's really starting to get to me. If you could please hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. So how are y'all doing today? I'm okay. I'm a little upset because my dogs, my parents' dogs are kind of on the outs. And uh, they're like 17 and 15 years old. Uh, wiener dogs. And uh, because... Uh, the younger one, the male, has diabetes. He's, I guess, kind of in like a weaker state. He just got diagnosed. The female, the 17-year-old, has been attacking him. Even though she's blind, can't, can't see or hear, and has been with the dog for 15 or 16 years, I guess she senses weakness, and it's kind of getting sad, so we don't really know what's going on. But aside from that, I'm great, and everything is great. I hope you guys are okay. Today... We're going to speak on canteen, a.k.a. commissary for you who don't know that it's canteen in Canada. That is what we call it. So first I'm going to break down provincial, then I'm going to break down federal. So if you're in provincial, your canteen is going to be limited. You're going to have a select, small select uh, choices of hygiene so toothpaste you'll probably have two or three options body wash shampoo it's all low grade all crap and i think now you might not even be able to get toothpaste they just give you that crappy joint stuff and literally on that joint stuff it says if you swallow more than a pea size amount contact a poison physician doctor immediately so just imagine what those are doing to your teeth what that stuff is doing to your teeth and I don't know if there's any other options. I know they were trying to get it out of there when I was in the bucket last time trying to nix toothpaste because I guess people were hiding stuff in the toothpaste. I don't know. It's BS all around. Anytime they can take something from you, they're going to take it from you. So, other than that, you have a limited selection of food. You can get seven bags of chips and seven bars. So those are two things that are limited. A lot of the stuff on Canteen isn't limited, except for the amount of money you can spend. And in Provincial, that is $60 a week. So chips, you can get seven. Bars, you can get seven. And if you're in a place where they sell pops, you can get seven. So you gotta stretch them out. You gotta try to make it last. And if you don't have money, you're probably better off just to use the little bits of money that you do have to get hygiene. Now in the provincial system, they will give you zero money. There is no inmate welfare. There is no hygiene fund. There's none of that. If you don't have anybody supporting you on the outside, you will be using joint stuff. So the four bars you can get, Snickers, Coffee Crisp, Arrow, and I think Kit Kat. You can get some Doritos, you can get regular chips, you can get barbecue chips, I think you can get hickory sticks, plus you can get Mr. Noodles or ramen noodles. They're important, the food is bad, and you kind of need to supplement your diet with anything that you can get. The portions are really small, it's like getting a microwavable dinner every time you eat. It's just not enough if you're a big dude, if you're working out, if you feel like gaining weight or whatever. You kind of got to do what you can. 
carbohydrate load and work 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 as long as you burn that energy it won't turn into fat so you can get your mr noodles now they do now offer protein powders and protein bars for a long time they didn't offer that stuff but they do now you can get like oatmeal to go bars you can get like nutrigrain bars mini oreos mini ritz uh jolly ranchers uh scotch mints coffee buy coffee coffee is like money coffee you can trade for things you can trade for honey buns and stuff like that when they come up in snacks with some of the older dudes that don't really care about that stuff but they want their coffee so buy coffee you can buy hot chocolates you can buy uh instant breakfast i don't know if you guys know what they are they're like a bootleg protein shake they're more like a vitamin shake kind of give you your essential nutrients more for kids but they taste good and aside from that there's not a whole lot going on on the provincial canteen you can get some magazines they'll have like people magazine vibe magazine source magazine i don't know if they even do source magazine anymore uh cosmopolitan you can go down the line popular mechanics popular science uh you can buy magazines also they'll have a small selection of novels uh you know it'll change occasionally but it won't be a huge selection you'll probably have like a dean Koontz, probably have like a james patterson james patterson maybe like a stephen king a sydney sheldon and like one other option and you know you're gonna do that because you need things to do you know in provincial you're not you don't have a tv in your cell you're looking through a little uh, rectangle window that's glass can't hear anything so most people don't stand at their window and watch TV all night it would be a if you ask me personally so that is pretty much the breakdown of provincial canteen provincial jail sucks provincial canteen sucks bottom line across the board the good thing is mr. noodles stock up on mr. noodles get as many as you can you're gonna need them or you're gonna starve in the super jails they have a hot water tap and if you're in jails where they don't have that hot water tap you probably won't get the mr. noodle so I don't know exactly what it's like in every prison but I assume it's exactly the same or every jail sorry now when you go to federal it's a little different canteen steps up a little bit they will have like hamburgers chicken wings chicken strips uh, they'll have some halal stuff you know they'll have not like good stuff it'll be processed meats but at least food options you can get cans of tuna cans of mackerel cans of salmon cans of spam cans of ham there's like a lot of things that you can get and if you're good at chefing or if you're creative you can figure out ways to kind of whip up meals in ways that are good now you also get mr. noodles in the pen but you also get mama noodles and I don't know if you guys know what mama noodles are but they put mr. noodles to shame it's just a step up in the ramen game the mama noodles are the business and the shrimp spicy are the real business now in the penitentiary you have a way better selection of chips and chocolate bars you have big bags little bags now the chips and the chocolate bars in the penitentiary are a lot cheaper I think a regular chocolate bar is like a dollar ten or something like that. A little tiny, you know, little tiny bags of chips are like fifty cents. Cans of pop are like fifty cents, or maybe they're a little bit more than little bags of chips. But you can also buy the big bags. They'll also have almost the whole selection of chocolate bars and almost the whole selection of chips. They'll have like rings, you know, uh, hoops. Uh, uh, they're like corn chips, you know. They'll have Miss Vicky's. They'll have Sun Chips. There's just a much better selection. Now, in the penitentiary, they also have ice cream. Now, I don't know if they have ice cream at Max. I know that there's probably a one-two fridge is still on the block at Max, so I'm sure they probably do have ice cream. But yeah, they'll have like the cheaper ice creams, like the box ice creams, the Chapman stuff that's like foam. It's crap. And then they'll have a step up. They'll have like the premium brands. And hey... You know they'll sell cheese you know they'll sell uh, a lot more real food items like rice pasta beans like you can actually do okay if you know how to cook and if you can get creative 
honestly, it doesn't really matter. Canteen sucks. Commissary sucks. In the penitentiary, you can spend a little bit more. I think you could spend $90 every two weeks. I don't know if they've upped it. But, you know, with that $90, you can buy quite a bit of stuff. But the reality is, prison sucks. And having to buy canteen because you're in prison sucks. Don't put yourself in that situation, especially now. We're in COVID times. Like... Everything in prison is going to be locked down. You're going to be hugging a mask all day long. They're not going to give you the proper cleaning stuff. They're not going to give you hand sanitizer. You're most likely going to get sick. If you do get sick, who knows how quickly your health care is going to come. And if you're mad or you're scared because you start feeling really sick and you start getting a little persistent, wanting them to be concerned, they might actually ignore you out of spite. Right now is not the time to go to prison. And... I know I get asked these questions a lot, what's the commissary like, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter, you know, it doesn't change your time. You might think it's dope when you first get there, you know, I could buy some better things, I can cook some better meals, but a month down the road, you're still going to regret the fact that you're in prison. Provincial or federal, canteen, commissary. What do you think? Does it really matter if it's good or if it's bad or if the options are good or bad? Like obviously you need to have options so you can buy food so you can eat a little better than the crap that they provide on the line because the stuff they provide on the line is like it's horrible, right? But prison's just not worth it. Obviously I share my stories with you guys so you guys don't have to go through these things yourselves. If I could just snap my finger, nobody breaks the law again. Nobody's addicted to drugs. Nobody goes through abuse. Nobody experiences PTSD. Then that's what I would do. But that is not reality. That is not life, especially in 2021. So at the end of the day, you got to look out for yourself. I'm not here to judge anybody. Obviously, if my videos can help you, keep you safe when you go inside, make the guys inside a little more comfortable when new guys come in because they know a little more, or if I can lead you directly away from the illegal crap, the crime, the addiction, then that is my goal. You guys help me be accountable every day and I appreciate that. Now there's one last thing I want to say about canteen. Don't be flexing with your canteen. Don't be walking through with giant bags of canteen if you're not prepared to defend it. Now, depending on where you're doing time, the dogs are going to smell blood. The dogs are going to see weakness at that time. So if you are weak, but you're flexing with bags of canteen, you may put yourself in a situation. You may end up getting extorted. You may end up having to pay a little bit of a fee. Be smart how you move, you know. You never want to show people you're the dude that has it. You never want to show people that. If you could please hit that like button. If you could please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification button so you get all my videos when they're new. If you could share with somebody on social media, help spread the message, help spread the word, that would be amazing. And there's a PayPal option if you'd like to donate, help support the channel. The link is in the description of all of my videos. So, like I said, canteen, commissary, not worth it. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad, doesn't change how much your bit sucks. You know, there was a time where you could buy, I remember you could buy cigarettes, you could buy bales of tobacco, you could buy rolling papers. On the Christmas bag in the pen, you used to be able to buy zigzags and blunts and backwoods. But times have changed. None of that good stuff is there anymore. Prison is whack. Don't put yourself in that situation. And if you are in that situation, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Love each and every one of you. The new Mac Clark.